Hello everyone, Nyaka Cosplay here. In this video I will show you how you can curl a wig using a flattening iron. Um, I'm going to use my aerial wig as an example and as a nice bonus I will also show you how I style the bangs on my aerial wig. So let's get started. Important note before we get started, your wig needs to be heat resistant. If you're not sure if your wig is heat resistant, just test it out on a small piece of hair with your flattening iron. As you can see, my aerial wig has seen better days, so I need to comb it out before I can start curling it. I recommend you always brush out or comb your wig before you start curling. When combing a wig, take a small section of hair and start combing the tip and then work your way up. I always use a white tooth comb or a wig comb when combing my wigs. Once your wig is brushed out, you can start curling it. I divide my wigs in sections and curl it a section at a time. I usually divide it in three to four sections, starting at the bottom. When I have my section, I divide the hair again in smaller strands so I can curl them. First I comb the strand with a wig comb and then I heat it up with the flattening iron. I always use the lowest setting. Then I take a flexible curling rod and twist the hair around it. And now you just have to repeat the process. When you are done curling your section, go to the next one and so on until your entire wig is done. Now you need to let your wig cool down. An hour or two will do the trick. But most of the time I just let my wig sit overnight. Then it is time to remove the rods. Start with the ones at the bottom and work your way up. When you have removed them, you can leave it like this or brush the curls out for that extra bit of poof. For this I mostly use my wig brush. Sometimes it can get a bit too poofy and then I take my wig comb to smooth it out. And ta-da, you have a curly wig. Now for the bangs. I divide them into sections and I start teasing them by combing backwards. This gives the hair volume. I do this into sections to have more control over the shape. The last section I will smooth out to cover up the teased bit. I keep my aerial bangs quite modest as I like it more that way, but you can shape them any way you want. Just keep teasing and shaping until you get the result you want. And don't forget to fixate it with hairspray. For my wigs I always use got to be glued hairspray. You can add some details if you like and done! 